Howdy everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Keith Warren. On this video, we're gonna show you how to cook up iguana. Now we want you to subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and to get started, we gotta show you how we came about getting this iguana. All right, so this week, we're gonna be down in Miami, Florida, right in the middle of the city, hunting iguanas with my buddy, The Hammer. I'm Rob Hammer, I'm a guide to kill iguanas. <laughs> Let's go find some iguanas. Got another one over here. That's a big one right that there. That just shows you exactly how camouflaged they get right there. Golly. Good shot. KO'd him. All right, we're gonna get over there. We're gonna get our net. Go, there, there he goes. goes. In the water. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right. In some parts of the world, they call this the, uh, what? Chicken of the tree, right? Chicken of the tree. Chicken of the tree. So we're gonna put him in the box and we'll show you what's gonna happen to him and a whole bunch of his buddies later on in this video. So this is what we're gonna do. Well, we eat on them by the legs. You can eat more of them, but we're gonna eat the legs on this one. We're gonna take the knife, we're gonna come in right here, and just go up underneath the scales all the way up to the body. Get up here right to the top of that leg. And just cut it off, just like that. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna peel the skin off the meat. It's a slow, tedious process because that skin is so tough. Just like this, we're going to take it right down to the feet. We're going to cut the foot off. Like that. And that's what you got right there. That's the front leg. We're going to do the same thing, the other front leg and the back legs. All right, so what we're going to do, you got to start out right here. I've got the iguana quartered up. We show you how to skin it, and now it's quartered up. It's ready to go. Nice and washed up. I have my favorite fish fry. I like to mix it with some flour and then I'll take it and put it in the pan. So I just put my fish fry with the flour, mix this together, and then all I do is just bread each one. Look at that. It kind of looks like a chicken wing or a frog leg, doesn't it? Having a wild game dinner, this is about as wild a game as you're going to get right here. Most people never had it on it. I'll tell you what, it's some kind of good. A lot of people call it Chicken of the tree. Chicken of the tree, right? Chicken of the tree. Now that we have it all battered up, we're gonna take it out and put it in the fish fryer. A lot of people wouldn't think about eating iguanas, but when you uh, look at it down in Central America and South America, people eat iguana all the time. And as you're a tourist down there, I mean, every time I've gone down there, I've wanted to try it. So why not? All right, the oil is not hot enough yet. I like to get it between 350 and 375. Another thing I like to do is as I'm setting the iguana in, I want to do it where it's all separate. They're not touching each other. That way they get nice and crispy all the way around. Don't overcrowd it. All right, she's ready. Here we go. Ooh, looky there. Oh yeah. Once it's been in there a minute or so, I like to pick it up and just kind of turn it around a little bit, make sure it's still all separated because I want it to cook all the way around. It's stuck together and the batter doesn't cook well. So make sure you just leave it all separate when you drop it in to keep it separate. One of the good things about being an outdoorsman is that you get to actually consume what you harvest. All right, it's almost done. We're gonna pick it up now and we're gonna let them drain. And then this is important because, you know, when I fry something up, I want the batter to be nice and crispy. And one of the things that I've found that if you wind up just taking it out and you put it on paper towels, the batter does not stay nice and crispy, at least on the bottom side. And so what I like to do, I like to take it and I like to put it on a, on a little grate like this to where the air gets underneath it and it stays crispy all the way around. So let's go ahead and take this inside now. All right. All right, this is what it looks like. Look at that. Isn't that really beautiful? I like to take my favorite seasoning for fish and season to liking. Now it's time to taste it. You know, the cool thing about being a hunter, we get to taste whatever we take. But if you check out other videos on our channel, you'll see the way we cook a lot of other animals. And that's the cool thing about being a hunter. I appreciate you joining us. I'm fixing to try this dude out right here. Make sure and subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend.
Woo, baby. That right there is some good stuff. I guarantee you. Yeah, good. Top of the morning to you, everybody. Top of the morning to you, everybody. Hey, join me on Facebook every morning for coffee on Coffee with Keith.